So the last thing we need to do for this assignment is this practice. So let us let me take you through that real quick. There's just four questions that we'll ask about CSS, and uh, we'll get through it and be done. So the first question here, it says, in CSS, how would you select this paragraph by its ID? So here's the paragraph, paragraph tag, um, and here's the information. So here's the, the, the options. <laughs> So it's, so it's a paragraph, so would we use the paragraph tag to select it and give it um, color or whatever we want to do with it? Would we, the ID name is byline, so would we put byline as the selector? It's an ID attribute, so we actually are going to put a symbol before it, and it's going to be either this symbol or this symbol. Do you remember which one it is? The ID, which only uses one, we can only use one time, is this symbol right here, so it's A. And this one is the class. This is for ID, and this is for class, which uses multiple. We can use multiple classes of the same name, ID. We can only use that byline ID one time. So that one's good. Let's keep going. Uh, next question. OK, in CSS, how would you select only the paragraphs with class name warning? So here's three paragraphs. Um, and we want, looks like we have a class warning with the name warning twice, and so we want to select both of those and not this paragraph. So if we select it, if we had P as the selector, it would select all three, right? If we did this, ID warning, there are no IDs. Um, this, there's just no reason for that. And this dot is the class. Um, for warning the class uh, symbol. So there are two of these paragraphs that we want colored a certain way or we want certain style. Now why would we use class instead of ID? Like I just mentioned we can only use ID once. So this warning class, uh, the name of warning, we have to use it as a class. If we did that with ID it would only do the first one because ID you can only use one time. So it is going to be this one. Next question how would you select all the paragraph tags on a page? Okay, so if we had 10 paragraphs, um, even if they had different class names or ID names, we can select them all by just putting the selector as P. We wouldn't use the tags because that's HTML. We just want the CSS. The selector doesn't use the brackets, so it's just this right here. Just the P selector. And the final question, following table lists selectors in the left column, HTML tags on the right column match the selectors to the HTML tag that they would match. So we're going to just click and drag these where they go. Remember the, the dot, what it signifies? There's two dots and there's two hashtags or number signs. So dot info, dot is the class name. So I'm looking for a class named info right there. It goes up there. I'm going to drag it up there. Uh, this symbol is the ID called info. And there it is right there. Um, ID called main. There it is. And the class called main. Oh, all the other ones went in order after I did that first one. Okay, that's it. Go ahead and, and um, check it. Refresh the page. So then it shows all the blue check marks. You don't have to do the project here or the videos since I since you followed me, my videos and learned how to do them. Take a screen clipping of all of this with the check marks and you can submit it to Canvas.